a negative 29 yards rushing. You know how embarrassing that is as an offensive line to see that stat? I don't give a fuck if it is sex. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what to say to him, though, if I'm Coach Lodeholt. We didn't even give you a chance to redeem yourself. And we made you look even worse because of the play calling, because that's not really indicative of what happened. Yeah. They didn't give up negative 29 yards rushing. Shador got sacked for negative 50 yards. Because he's yeah. running backwards and running into sacks and not having any pocket presence because he's seeing ghosts because he has to throw the ball every fucking play. So let's be real, real about what we're talking about here, dog. All you Buffalo fans, do you want to win a Big 12 title or do you want to go eight and four and be frustrated when we don't win games we're supposed to because we can't fucking figure this out? Yeah, if they do have running backs that can run the ball, they have offensive linemen that can block the sky. I've been saying this since day one, all you simple creatures. Okay, it's the scheme, dog. I could, I'm not saying I can do this because that's a big ask, but give me the authority to be the run game coordinator. And in one motherfucking week, one week, I will teach, give me the personnel and the autonomy to do it. And we will be running the ball vertically down people's fucking throats out of multiple different formation sets with multiple goddamn personnel groupings and multiple motion patterns, putting Travis Hunter all over the fucking field, putting Hornet running back, orbit motioning in, fucking the same way we run the ball at Mount Vista down people's fucking throats. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me it can't fucking be done, dog. Don't tell me it can't. I, know I, know. I, can. I have my fucking master's degree in football, homie. I played on both the offensive and defensive lines in the trench. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, dog, and it can be done, and we're not doing it. And Pat Schumer is a professional offensive coordinator, and it's on him. I want to see him change. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. This isn't just a job before your next job. It's not cool to work with Shador Sanders. It's cool to help him. Mm-hmm. What would show you what would show Pat Schumer's ability to get another fucking job at the NFL level or a college job better? Supporting Shador Sanders or being the guy that just managed him while his talent fucking won us eight games? That's a good question, man. Like what especially say he wants to get an OC job in the NFL or or thinking out of the box because fuck, somebody's got to do it. Dallas sucks. They draft Shador eighth or ninth overall. They get rid of Dak. They need a new offensive coordinator because McCarthy's fucking gone. He should be gone anyway. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, the guy at fucking Colorado that helped him go 10-2 and two and win a Big 12 title that fucking built an offense around him and fucking ran the shit out of the ball and it was multiple and look at all the different formations and all this shit that he brings to the table and they're moving the pocket and throwing screens and fucking running draws and all this crazy shit. And they got all these fucking weapons and CD Lamb and fucking bam, 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 bam. You think maybe that would be a good job, asshole? So are you going to do your fucking job, Pat, or are you just going to watch Shador play like the rest of us? We buy tickets. You get paid to coach. Coach. Yeah. We'll see if Pat Shermer and the scheme adjusts. I'm sure it will. Um, it's going to be a shootout in AZ. If it doesn't, if it doesn't. doesn't, we are setting ourselves up for pain and failure. And I'm not going to be able to sit here and just fucking agree with it over and over and over again. And I'm going to be the bad guy and everyone's going to fucking hate Matt because he's the fucking bad guy. And I'm going to have to kiss ass and apologize and be like, fuck man, I'm so sorry that I called out the fucking offensive coordinator. That's not supporting everyone correctly. My bad. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, either way, Matt, you do tell the truth. People are very sensitive, it seems, at times, and I don't get why. This is not personal attacks. This is what needs to change in order to see success. It's very clear. People People don't fucking listen. They don't listen. Let me reiterate. Shador's the best player in college football at his position. If he played for Georgia, he would throw for 500 fucking yards a game because they would run the ball for 200 yards a game. Mm -hmm. Okay? He... Where if he went to a school that actually built the fucking program around him on offense instead of him just being the offense, okay, he would win the Heisman. He'd be Joe Burrow because you have that kind of receiving core, okay? LSU's offensive line was good. They weren't awesome. 
you can build the offensive line is good enough to scheme and win with. I'm tired of all this. This play is on the players. Fuck you. It's on the players. It's on the goddamn scheme and the coaches. And if you don't think Shador is that guy, you obviously have just been here for the coach prime experience. He is that guy, period. So I just I just want them to be in a position to support great talent. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. And that goes for Travis and Horn, too, and the backs and the offensive line. The entire offense should be pissed off about this. I would hope that they're men enough to walk in and say, please, for the love of God, can we run the fucking ball? You don't just have to bow down to the fucking coach. You're making five million goddamn dollars a year, dog. You're driving a fucking Rolls Royce. Yeah. Schumer showed up in a fucking Nissan. Yeah. He's making a what? Four hundred grand. You can't go in there and drop your fucking dick on the table and be like, "Hey, we need to run the fucking ball more." I'm getting killed out here. I'm trying to go first round and fucking develop and play for 15 years, not just be the best quarterback in CU history, but actually go to the NFL and be the best fucking cowboy quarterback in history or whatever the fuck. Yeah. If I was Shador Sanders, I'd be mad as a motherfucker. You know what I agree. Dog like me? Ten fucking rushing attempts. Ten rushing attempts, 21 yards. I know I'm a bad motherfucker, Pat, but Jesus Christ, dog. Do I have to do everything? How good do I need to make you look, Pat? Mm-hmm. Pat Shador Sanders, not the guy that's fucking making this entire fucking offense run. Hey, Pat, how fucking good do I have to make you look? Do I need to write you a letter of recommendation for your next job too, motherfucker? <laughs> Travis and Jimmy and I and Wester and all these other boys and Miller need to make you look, homie. How long are you going to blame it on the fucking offensive line? How long are you going to blame it on the fucking backs and all this, all these stupid motherfuckers in here that are like, oh, it's the players. Nah, dog, it's Pat. It's Pat. He did this with the Broncos. Remember when he was practicing incompletions? You dumbasses, you don't remember that? Get the fuck out of here. So it, I, I'm serious. What, like, dude, you, you drove to practice in a Rolls Royce. You're Shador Sanders. No one gives a fuck who the offensive coordinator is. We can replace him. We can't replace you. You're getting fucking murked because the scheme is not supporting you. You're supporting the scheme. If you complete, if you continue to support the scheme, the scheme will not support you. If the scheme supports you, you will fucking win and be the best player at your position. The fucking sky's the limit on how good you can be. Plus, this is not conducive to NFL quarterback play. No, it's not. Every game I fucking watched on Sunday, everybody's under center with fucking fullbacks on the field. Patrick Card is a 310 pound fullback. The fucking Chargers just won a goddamn defensive lineman out of fullback. <laughs> the fucking Broncos have two fullbacks on the roster. Don't tell me that the fucking it's all spread in the off in the NFL. Everybody's under center and trying not to fuck up in order to win games. That's all the NFL is. I might be mistaken, but I think the Seahawks put Brady Russell at fullback as well. Brady Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Russell, great yeah. pop, dog. Matt yeah. Russell's fucking nephew. Reese Russell's fucking cousin. I'm just saying. Yeah. It, can, it can be done. We don't want Reese Russell either. We'll let him go to Nebraska. Fuck! <laughs> so, I mean, how long does everybody need to hear me say the same goddamn thing? Because I'm going to keep beating this fucking drum because I, I swear to fucking God this is the way to fix it. And yeah. I can go fuck about everyone's feelings, dog. Come at me. I know I'll offend you, and I'm a dick, and I'm a piece of shit, and how dare I talk like this, and who is he? Who the fuck? Bah, 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 bah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. I challenge you to this Pepsi challenge shit. If I'm offending you, and I've somehow overstepped, please tell me how you're going to support number two better. Let's sit down and talk about this. Let's have a man-to-man, coach-to-coach conversation and get on the board and watch film, and you can tell me that my fucking way won't work because we don't have the personnel, right? Nah, dog. No. Nope. You don't get to blame it on the kids, homie. You Nope. Not happening. Not happening. Nope. Nope. Fuck your feelings. 
We're trying to win. Fuck your entertainment. Everybody that thought that was cool the other night, it was so entertaining. What a great game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Losing 31 to 28 to a rival is fucking bullshit. The mm-hmm. O-line is not bad. The, coach Lothold is not a bad coach. He's being – they're being asked to make fucking miracles happen. Do you, I played defensive line in college, okay? When I knew they were r- fucking passing the ball, it was a fucking tee-off. Mm-hmm. I played three technique. I had nine sacks my senior year as a three technique inside. Yeah. So don't tell me I don't know how to rush the passer. In the NFL, when I when the offensive lineman and the scheme was different, and like you, they know you know they're passing, they know you're passing. The old linemen are just as athletic as me. I got moved to guard. Mm-hmm. When in college, fuck, I know they're throwing the ball. I'm getting home. Do you know how fucking easy it is to rush the passer in college when they know you're fucking throwing every play? You want to know how easy it is? Go watch the game the other night. So everybody, let's make sure you're fucking entertained and your feelings aren't hurt, you bunch of pussies. Yeah. But fuck you, dog. I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. Fuck your feelings. Fuck your entertainment. Everybody that's got a problem with it, my nuts are in my fucking shorts. Yeah. Exactly. Next question. Man, I think we're going to leave it on that. If you they, if I think a lot of people, including myself, that doesn't have you hyped and be like, hey, shit needs to fucking change. If you're sensitive, yeah, you're you're this is the most fucking all this shit. I don't watch. Watch. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. From Lisa, do you think Pat Schumer would listen? No. I think that he would get offended. I think that almost everyone there, with the exception of Coach Prime, because Bailey knows this. How many times have you seen the messages between me and Coach? A lot. a lot, right? You've seen all of them. A lot. And every time I criticize, he always gets back to me, right? I'm sure I'll hear from him about this. Um, No, I don't think Pat would listen. I think Pat would get offended. I think Pat would question, like, resumes because I'm not a college coach or some shit. Um, I think he would scoff at it and think that his way works. And I think the other guys in the room, and I hate to say this because I have so much respect for Lone Holt, but it's his first year there. I don't know how much of a voice he actually – he's not the run game coordinator. He's just the offensive line coach. So I think that they there's people in the room that know they want to keep their jobs, and that's, the, that's their livelihood and shit, and Pat's in charge, and that's it. And I don't think he would listen. I don't think he would be responsive. I don't think he would even take the fucking meeting. And you know what? That's not my problem, bro. What do I, again, what the fuck do I know? I'm just some asshole that owns a gym that played there a long ass time ago that was kind of good, maybe. And, you know, the NFL wasn't great, and but I did learn a lot and I had great coaches and everything that I, every time I struggled and I was on IR, I was in the film room helping the coaches and trying to fucking learn as much as I could from Bill Callahan and shit. So, and Alan Fanica and, you know, guys like that. So, yeah, I just, I, uh, I think that there's opportunity if everybody's humble and hungry enough to understand that they don't know everything, including myself. I don't know everything. I'm not talking about coverages and fucking route trees and shit right now. I'm talking about the trench. I'm talking about the foundation of every fucking good team I've ever been on. Even the one that we have now. I have Mount Vista High School. We've got the 5A player of the year, Austin Majeski. He's fucking throwing the ball. He's about to break Colorado passing records in two weeks. He needs four touchdowns and 800 yards to be the highest, the most yards and the most touchdowns in Colorado history. Wow. He's a hell of a player. And we can throw the ball on anybody. But you want to know why we're so fucking good this year? Mm-hmm. Because I'm, I'm not – the offensive line is elite. we got good players on it. But it's because we can fucking pipe the ball on people. And we do it out of multiple formations with tons of motion and everything's vertical and we got good backs and our offensive line's nasty and they're not just out there pass blocking every play. There's tons of screens and all this different shit off of it. It's extremely dynamic and you would look at it and say, well, that's a spread offense. All they do is throw, but we're fucking piping the ball on people and our screen game is an extension of the run game and it all comes out of different formation variations and personnel packages. 
which I don't think as a professional offensive coordinator that's been – just pull up Pat Schumer's resume real quick, if you would, please, Bailey, before we get out of here on this marvelous Monday. This has been so fun as I've had a fucking aneurysm on this show today. And I, I didn't really want to do this today, but, bro, I can't, I can't play the nice game. I'm not entertained, and I didn't have fun Saturday. I would have been entertained and fucking – Thank God we won if we would have won 28-24. And I would have been on here today going, what the fuck are we doing? Why won't we run the ball? It'd probably be the same exact show. We just would have won. That's what everybody needs to understand. If we would have won 28-24, this would be the same fucking show it is right now. We just yeah. would have won. We'd be 5-1 and one and ranked. And yeah. we'd still be sitting here going negative 29 yards rushing, 10 fucking oh rushing God. attempts. I'm sorry, but if you think this is acceptable, you're a fucking NCAA gamer fucking tag on the goddamn comments. Might, you might as well just let's fucking let's play some games later, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! Cheeto fingers and Mountain Dew in your fucking basement, Chicago backhanding while your mom makes me love, motherfucker. You're the problem. <laughs>